we just beat a team that beat two playoff teams and lost to another one by six points, and we beat them by seven. And Auburn's a great team. I'm not taking anything away from them. I give them a ton of credit. But these guys deserve everything they get, and they deserve more credit from the committee than what they got. One thing we can do is keep winning games, and I don't think we have any more games left to win. So uh, I guess to the college committee, it's just I mean, what more can we do? We won all of them, and I, I just feel that – we should have had an opportunity to, to show our talents to any and every team that, that want to go against us. I mean, there's no more teams left for us to beat. Um, we knew Auburn was going to be the best team we played all year, and uh, we'll line up and go, go against anybody. I said in the springtime I'll take our ball club against anybody in the country, and I, I still feel that way. Um, we played our butts off tonight, and we were victorious, and it's, it's just an unreal moment, and going to cherish it forever. I'm not happy for me. I'm so happy for these guys. Uh, I told them in the locker room this was an 0-12 group when I got there. They looked, looked like they weren't having any fun, that they didn't care about each other. We had a long way to go. And to think that they're th sitting here Peach Bowl champions in 13-0 and in two years, um, I couldn't be happier for them. You know, I told them it's onward and upward from here for UCF. I expect to turn on the TV and watch them keep getting better and keep winning. Yeah, I mean, it's no better feeling than coming into a game being an underdog and Everybody going around you telling that you can't win, and people say we're going to lose by this much and that much. I mean, we're just waiting for the, some, how somebody say what we're going to win by. I mean, we didn't get that often. So the whole thing coming this game was, you know, hit them as hard as we can and keep hitting them between each and every second of the game. And uh, what our team did, no matter you know, what the circumstances was and we was down, you know, we made sure we, we pulled together instead of clashing at each other, and we made sure that, you know, we made plays when it was time to make plays. I mean, the guys, you know, they studied their game plan to – to the best of their abilities, and it showed out. It showed in the game today. Uh, you know, it kind of came out uh, sleepwalking, uh, throwing the ball in the air. Um, I don't know if it was the big lights or the big jumbotron, but uh, you know, I think we kind of started hitting our stride uh, later in the second quarter, and then in the third and fourth quarter, we started uh, we started rolling. And um, but yeah, I mean, coaches were just calling good plays, um, utilizing my legs, and uh, the old line the old line dominated the game today. And I don't think anybody expected expected them to do that. And uh, this uh, is all around is all around team effort today. Shaquan Burkett, fit year senior, getting a pick six. We we didn't even know if we we're gonna have him this year, and, and he pulled that off. So it was an unreal game. I'm gonna have a a, a ton of memories from uh, this place. Uh, UCF has been unbelievable to me. Uh, something to remember all this by. This has been the best year of my life. Uh, Having my first child was incredible, and then getting to spend time around guys like this uh, all season and, and watch them have the success that they had. Listen, I, you know, I'll, I'll get heat for saying this, but if I'm a recruit out there, I, I want to come play at UCF. It, it's a it's an incredible campus. It's an incredible opportunity. They're going to come in and play with some unbelievable human beings and football players. Do everything I can for the guys at UCF, and do everything I can at Nebraska, and, and I can't wait to watch what both programs can accomplish.